Oh, good day, my people. You are welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for staying with me. I remain Edu Ada. Good. Today we'll be talking about conversion of inches per minute to feet per hour. You can equally have it as feet per minute and converting that to inches per minute or you can convert inches per minute to feet per hour and you can equally convert feet per hour to feet per minute let's break it down let me clear this let's say we have um, let me give you some so the first one is this relation between inches per minute and feet per hour this is relation with between them this is very relationship they are so for every one inch per minute you're going to be having five feet per hour you get take note of this so if we are told now let's say we want to convert where is my razor since we know this, we are to now convert um, a torch example. A torch convert. Then inches per minute. to feet per hour how do we go about that i will appreciate you know the fundamental relationship which i've written the, the at the exception at the beginning of the video that for every one inch per minute it's equivalent to five feet per hour so with the knowledge of that, just like you convert from your meter per second and your 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make an hour, then from there you can convert any form of value of minute or seconds you are given to the other value, isn't it? So now the same thing we're going to do. So we go from what we know to the one we don't know. That's what I've been an advocate of that. Right, from time in mathematics you go from what you know to what you don't know that links up and you get your problem solved so since we know that one minute one inches per minute it's equivalent to five feet per hour then we can just write we you know we are given 10 10 inches Per minute, right? So we can just say that can be equal to how many feet per hour? Let me say I don't know since we we love using hex, right? So we can just use hex here. Yeah? So x feet per hour. Then with the knowledge of what we do, some of us while we we're in younger class, we just do the cross multiplication sign. Then your x multiplies one. So once your x multiply one, you have x times one to be equal to ten and five. So what do you have? Your x can be equal to fifty, and you have that to be what? Fifty feet per hour. Do you get that? You can go through that again. You can go through that again. You get that? You get that straight? So you can just go through that again. You see that? Simple to solve. So now I want to believe you can change or you can convert from minutes, inches per minute to feet per hour or feet per hour to inches per minute. Okay, let's take a flip of that. Let me say we are to convert. Um, let me clear this. So there's the first. So we can move up which time convert um 
me change this. So I'll do right 20. Well, let me use 100. 100 feet. Hundred feet per hour to inches per minute. And solve now. So we have hundred feet per hour. You are still using the same expression. You have your one inch per minute. This is equivalent to um, five feet per hour. So you can now say, let me say y and unknown. Your known value of inch per minute can be equal to what? 100 feet per hour. So what do we do again? We have a cross multiplication. So five multiplies y there. So what you have, you're going to be having you have five multiply y, so you have five times y can be equal to hundred times one. Since you are got, since you are, all you want to get is y, divide both sides by five. Let's cancel out this. Five year one, five year twenty. So y is equal to 20 inches per minute. Is this understood? Very good. Let's look at another relationship. Quickly before I stop this video. Others that we have. Yeah, still have like about two relationships under this alone so we have um, since you already know now the relationship between feet inches per minute and what and um, feet per hour also note this that your feet per hour when you divide it by 60, you get guess what you have? They're going to be having feet per minute. Get it straight. So what does what that means is indirectly you're just changing your hour to minutes. You do you get? So whenever you have your feet per hour and you have to express it in feet per minute, just divide your feet per hour by 60. You get your value straight up. So can we try something regarding that? Okay, let me just write that. Let me note that. Let me note another one for you. If you have... Um, what if you have it in feet per minute? So your feet per minute can be equal to your inches per minute. The same minutes, minutes. Are you seeing that? Inches per minute divided by 12. Can you see another relationship? So we've done for these are the other things you should know. Know that you have um, one inch per minute is equivalent to five feet per hour. Know that your feet per hour, if you divide it by 60, you're going to get feet per minute. And you want to get your feet per minute, what do you get? If you have it, your value in inch per minute, just divide your inch per minute by 12, you get your value in feet per minute. Let's quickly treat some examples too. Example 2. So we have this. Um, express. Thirty six inch per minute in feet in feet 
per minute. So when we express that in feet per minute, what do you do? What are we doing? Come back to this place. Inches per minute and feet per minute. This is the expression you use. This is the first thing. This is the word. The first thing we should note, isn't it? So what do you do? You write that if you have your inches per minute divided by 12 will give you your feet per hour. So this one now all we have to do. So let me just do that right away and hope without wasting time. Since you know that to get your feet per minute, you divide your inches per minute by 12. So to get this inches per minute in feet per minute, what do you do? I have a 36. inches per minute divided by 12 and that will give you what 12 year 1 12 year that should be 3 that will be 3 feet per minute do you get that let's say you want to work on feet per hour let me give you 3600 feet per hour is spread in feet per minute. So let me call this a DIY. So express three thousand six hundred feet. I'm giving you relation to this first one feet per hour. In, in what feet per minute do that you have to follow what follow this follow that you will be done if you can still get through that make your comments known on my channel on this video make a comment I'll get back to you if you want video on any aspect of mathematics, you can equally get to me via the comment section. I will definitely provide a video for you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate you. See you next time.